back again, Mason. After Baikonur, where did Washington send you next? Vietnam. Fucking Quezon. This was in 1968. Yeah, I was part of the SOG unit led by Frank Woods. It was recon on covert Russian activity in Laos. What about your CIA handler, Hudson? Was he in Quezon? Do you remember him there? Hudson. <laughs> and Mr. Shades. The guy was an ice cube. Woods, he's here. Mason! Woods, you look like hammered shit! It's no time for shit, junk. It's not, nah, baby. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Jason Hudson, CIA. Thank you for your time, Sergeant. I've already briefed Mason broadly about the situation. Let me fill in the blanks for you. Back in 64, the CIA gave up control of covert operations in Southeast Asia, handed over to the U.S. military. From that, Mac B. Saad was born. Now, aside from being a base for the Marine Corps, Kaysan is our launching point for all cross-border activities, mostly Laos and Cambodia. Missions are S&D, Sabotage, Black Propaganda, Strategic Recon, POW Rescue. You know, these are shit. Mission over here! I'll cover you. Go! Hudson was down and Kaysan was under siege. But like with Weaver, you risked your life to save her. Hudson was a fucking ice cube. <laughs> That's why I like the bastard. Your mission priority was to get to Hawaii City, but you all stayed behind to defend Kaysan. That wasn't your objective. You obviously didn't know, but he knew Kaysan needed our help. There's no decision to make. Okay. Oh, no! 
I discover. Keep your head down. Keep on. You look like hammered shit, Mason. <laughs> Nam would do that to you. It's good to see you, Alex. Jason Hudson, CIA. We're here to talk about your encounter with Russians in Laos. We got word a defector might be in play. 